Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And as always, we want to thank everybody for their support, both over at Ko-Fi and also at Patreon. We couldn't do it without you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed uh, to all the channels. As we expected, we knew we'd lose people from uh, YouTube, from Brighty and from BitChute and Rumble. As the Patreon family's been growing and more people are watching over there, um, but they just are always rolling them off the rolls, so to speak, in order to still control the narrative. But as far as our Patreons go, our newest ones are... We want to say a huge thank you to Nicholas and Dolly. Thank you guys for your support. Couldn't do it without you guys. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm a little bit surprised, and maybe I shouldn't be, um, <laughs> at how much so many people have been, like, biting their nails. They can't wait for this big interview to come out between Tucker and Putin. It's quite a bit bigger event maybe than I realized it was going to be, and maybe that's my cynicism. Maybe it's my, uh, you know, from my point of view, seeing the bigger picture and looking deeper. Um, and again, you know, if if you're on the right side, who wouldn't like Tucker? You know, because again, you have Tucker uh, saying most of the right things. Uh, you have MTG, you have uh, Christy Gnome, you, you have WEF or uh, Greg Abbott, you know, again, uh, shipping those migrants all over the country. Now, you could look at it like, well, he's getting them rid of Texas. He's getting them out of Texas. He's putting the barbed wire up. Or you could look at it like he's distributing the sleeper cells. You know, it depends on which way you're looking at it. And obviously, we take a pretty cynical approach when it comes to trusting anything about any of the geopolitical situation on planet Earth in a Kali Yuga, in a dark age. Uh, so we don't trust any of them. We don't trust any of them. We don't believe any of them. And then we also utilize uh, the pineal gland, the insight, the intuition, and we read their energy as well. This is an important thing that humans are going to be developing in masses as long as you don't go down the route of becoming part of the Borg you will be able to read energy clear as day and many of you guys can read energy uh, as well as we can and you could see all the bs as well as we can you know we know we talk to dozens of people on a weekly basis that can do just that and they are very very gifted and they see the same thing that we see so we were watching this interview Oh, yay, we were watching the interviews. So I look at these guys no more than two people that were handed their cue cards and said, okay, this is the flames we're going to fan now. We need each of you to play your part because this is this is the biggest sellout or buy-in, depending on which side you think you're on, on the planet. I mean, they really need us to uh, buy into this and, and chew on it and everything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so when you look at this, uh, let's read this first segment. Putin calls out the warmongering politicians in America. Okay. Yeah. You know, because, yeah, absolutely. There's been an awful lot of warmongering with the United States of America. As we have pointed out in numerous videos, and many other people have, have spoken the same, uh, the vast majority of the time the United States has been a country it's been at war with somebody you know whether we're going all the way back to the revolutionary war the war of 1812 the civil war the and so many indian wars you can't even count them and then of course you have the spanish-american war you have the war in mexico uh, i mean it goes on and on to, to the modern day ones you know starting with vietnam and then going on into Iraq twice and it, it, and all the policing events that they don't really even count as wars, but they are wars. Okay, we do have warmongering politicians in America. That is true. But in reality, again, it's not just the United States that has the military industrial complex. And this tangled web is is intertwined in every single country on the planet. What they're doing now is they are shifting the paradigm 
and they're getting you ready to cheer the shift. They're getting you ready to cheer the shift, absolutely. And a lot of people are. A lot of people are biting hook, line, and sinker. And, you know, and some family members that are uh, people that follow us on a regular basis will even, you know, I've read comments. So, but you got Tucker wrong. He's really a good guy. But he has a very big, dark attachment uh, that is attached to him. And we could see that Putin has three Draco, one straight over the top of his head. And two others, you know, most of the top level politicians don't have just one Draco attached to them, really puppeting them. They're nothing but meat suits. The, that's the reality. You're really watching other entities controlling. It is a form of possession. Yet they're very clever and they are good at getting people to, you know, bite hook, line and sinker to even commit atrocities, whether it's burning the witch, you know, again, uh, eliminating hundreds of millions of indigenous people in the Americas, uh, and then convincing people that it was actually uh, Christopher Columbus that discovered America when there were hundreds of millions of people here already in the first place, but they don't count. Well, this is what they're going to be doing again. This is all about getting you to like the new boss. This is all about getting you to get behind those that are actually going to attack us. And, you know, this is exactly what they're doing. So Tucker asked Vladimir Putin about Chuck Schumer suggesting Americans will fight in Ukraine. Putin responds, we are thousands of miles away. You have issues with your border, issues with migration, issues with national debt at what? 33 trillion. Now, that's a signal Cindy was picking up that this interview was not necessarily just for all the consumers out there, all the little people out there. No, this is this is giving information to the secret societies. This is giving information uh, to all those that know how to look for signs, whether they're hand signals, whether they're number indicators, whatever you know we we so have, and we have many different things. They are giving signals because, Here on February 8th, 2024, we're in the last days and weeks of life as we know it. It is going to change. They are going to change the paradigm. And, you know, again, it's not written in stone. Uh, They have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. It's AI. They war game this stuff incessantly. You know, it's it's something that we're dealing with where they really have to paint a good picture to get us to all buy into it. Because if we knew the truth of it all, we wouldn't just simply go along. I mean, we would put up a really good fight because we would have more people to work with us because more people would have that understanding. But, you know, you have to kind of look back into history. I agree. History is very, very good for understanding what's going to happen in the future. And if you look to our history... Like when Columbus came over, um, you know, in in my time, there was a bunch of movies on where there was cowboys and Indians and they always portrayed the Indians as like the really bad guys. They're really, really bad guys. So that was important just to get everyone on board with, you know, how they're going to run things in the system and how they have previously. But also look at Burn the Witch. I mean, they got some really well-intended people on board to do some great harm to some people that really nothing more. They probably knew a little bit about how to activate herbs and how to utilize them to heal other people. But again, they, they painted this picture where everybody's getting on board. So I'm looking at this, feeling them paint this picture because I don't the words, I mean, the words are, are fun. A lot of people will hang on them, but I didn't hang on the words. I was feeling the energy. And this is like a le- level above us here in the 3D. This information is for a different realm of people who, like Mike said, they're going to be calling the shots. Yeah, absolutely. Putin confirms the United States is not run by its elected officials. That's a big reveal for many people that, you know, have been drinking the Kool-Aid. Tucker says, so twice you described U.S. presidents making decisions, then being undercut by their agency heads. So it sounds like you're describing a system that's not run by the people who are elected in your telling. Yes, that's right. That's right. But 
the same you know he's given us the truth because that is the truth truth. right it's an absolute truth presidents don't make decisions they're told what to do you are the chosen puppet the chosen figurehead you have no real power and then they tell them what the power structure is and that's when their knees get weak and they might even you know poop themselves you could see, you could see it with past presidents. Sometimes they look so pale, uh, like they saw a ghost. Well, they saw worse than a ghost. Absolutely, some ghosts aren't that bad. No, but what he left out was the fact that he doesn't make any decisions either, and neither does Xi. And yet, you know, again, this is to get people ready for when the power structure shifts, which is not far off. It really is not far off. President Putin refers to the CIA as being the ones that blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Well, again, all the alphabet soups are ultimately tied in together. Yet you do have a lot of people in these agencies that believe they're really doing what, you know, you would get in a movie. Oh my God, we're saving. We're saving the country from the bad guys, from the black hats. And there really are agents that believe that. But then there's agents that have been around 20, 30, 40 years and they recognize the system for what it is. And some of them do want real change. Putin said in an interview with Tucker that there's no stopping who? Elon Musk. I think there's no stopping Elon Musk. He will do as he sees fit. He's a billionaire. He's not the leader of any any country. He's not the head of the UN or the WHO or he's not the head of the WEF either. Why is Elon so important? He is he is in in my mind I equate him to the false prophet of the Bible and Revelation. He's the one that's here to sell everybody on AI, because the ultimate Satan truly is AI, and the merger of humanity with an AI that will totally control and overrule the human decision-making experience on planet Earth in 3D. Yeah, no, they're, they're all about assimilation into the Borg, and Elon is the good cop, and Elon's time hasn't come yet. It's just starting to come. He will be pushed to the forefront after the war. And he will be, in in some ways, one of the most important people on the planet, if not like the prime one that so many people are looking to. It's going to be a different situation after the war. And it it won't be all, you know, using the whip. They're going to put out the carrots, you know, the sugar cubes to to get that horse to come this way. You know, it's going to be like, yeah, you know what? We need to make reparations for everybody that made that that decision, and now they're suffering with compromised immune systems. Don't worry. You're going to get X amount of money for that. And you could get that on top of this, and you might even get your your debt forgiven. You know, Again, it, it could be a, a clean slate wipe. Of course it'll be a clean slate wipe in some ways when they change the monetary system. But you're going to have to get CHI. PP, you know what? ED, yeah, you're going to have to become part of the system completely to get any of the benefits of the system. Otherwise, you're going to be outside of the system. And so, you know, a lot of times people have said, you know, how can you quote the Bible when you don't believe in it? I believe in it as a guidepost, it's a control, I, I, it's a control <laughs> mechanism. <laughs> It's, it's they're telling us their plans. This is how they communicate to each other. This is how they control our minds. We are all co-creators. And so our expectancy, what we expect to happen, absolutely is something that can help bring about that reality. So why not give it to people, get people to pray for it, and then it's going to come true. What is the ultimate case? Well, gosh, I remember them saying a third of the people lost their lives with this and a third of the people lost their lives with that. It was one woe after another. It was a massive, the book of Revelation is a massive depopulation event happening. Can't we see that? I mean, that should be pretty obvious. You know, just take a step back from your dogma and your understanding and look at it with clear lens and see this is you know this is exactly them telling us what they're going to do 
And he knows that little wry smile. He knows exactly what's coming next. You know, Elon wants carbon tax. He's behind CBDC and he's behind the integration with AI. I mean, shoot, he's putting up so many satellites into space to, to monitor all of us at all the time to put online so many drones and robotic pieces of military hardware that they don't need to send uh, CIA, FBI, KGB, OSS, you know, SS. They don't need to send physical people anymore. They'll just zap you from a laser mounted somewhere up on a, you know, <laughs> up in the sky overhead. Or they'll just send a, a drone to take you out. This is the reality of what we're seeing. By the way, for former President 45 won the Republican caucuses in the Virgin Islands. You might see the return of 45. In fact, the guides said to us before the election ever happened four years ago, it's going to look like he's gone, but he's not. And I know there's those of you out there that remember those exact words, exact words. Yeah, he, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. They, they have plans. And they're going to look to appease us in some ways. Pakistan poll results delayed as Imran Khan's party claims win in first result. Um, you know, this would be the biggest election upset in Pakistan's political history in the last 50 years. You're going to see shocking things geopolitically. Because what AI is doing is it's trying to outthink humans. And when you play chess against AI, you better be really good. Uh, because it can look at and think, you know, 20 moves ahead, and it does. And look at all possibilities and probabilities. Yet there's some things it can't compete with us on. And one of them is creativity. It can't create anything, and, and Cindy said this so many times, it can only take what's out there and modify it, just like they modify humans. But that's, again, that's why they, they need humans, because we are that creation. We are that thing that they need to model after. So they do have a, a reason to keep some of us around. But as we can see with one company after the next, after the next, after the next, they're they're making sure everything is automated you know it's slow but it's sure and it's like you know the steps keep going on and on and on and moving more and more forward to create this world where he, very few humans are going to be needed and i think that's the one thing we cannot get cognitive dissonant about we have to understand that we know this plan we see this plan best thing to do is for you to just keep stepping out of the system backing out of the system backing out of the system that's the energy that i'm feeling and that's the energy i'm following and just so you know we've touched on this briefly before chili's burning and these wild quote unquote wildfires hmm, second biggest wildfire uh that we've seen in the 21st century and you know it's not getting a lot of coverage but when you really look at it, you know, over 100 people lost their lives, tons, I mean, so many houses destroyed, areas destroyed. When you really look at it, oh, man, it just reeks of, of Maui. It, it reeks of Lahaina. It, it reminds me of, um, again, fire from the sky. And we're seeing all the same sorts of things, the oddities. Like all the fires popping up at one time. So don't go saying one person started all these at, at one time because it ain't going to happen that way. When you, when you look at the wreckage, notice how some of these cars are upside down and they're melted. I mean, it's, this is not wildfires. This, this is weaponry. These are absolutely, in my opinion, I don't know how you couldn't say this is not directed energy weapons. Like, how does that car get there? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and again, I'd be curious to see if there's any blue houses that, that mm -hmm. just are perfectly fine. And look at the trees. These cars are trashed. Why are those trees even standing if you had fire that, that big? It doesn't make a lick of sense. It, well, unless we're talking technology. 
and again, people are really catching on to this. You know, people, those that have been watching this the whole time. Yeah, yeah, you know, with what is up with this? What is up with this? Why are they targeting Chile? Um, we, we haven't asked that direct, we haven't asked that question to the guides. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just so crazy and more and more people are talking about it. And this little tidbit too is kind of curious. Uh, former president of Chile died in a helicopter crash, the helicopter carrying Panera, that Sebastian Panera, former president of Chile and three others plunged into a lake in Southern Chile. He's the only one that died. The other ones were saved. Got to wonder, um, what did he know? You know, what what did he know that they wanted to make sure wasn't going to come out? Um, but, you know, it's, we, we've had so many things that people already ha- probably have forgotten. Many people have forgotten about Hawaii. How about East Palestine? You know, again, how about that 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 flood in Tunisia and and the it, it's just been crazy and then the Moroccan earthquake and we could go on and on and on because you know absolutely we're seeing more things happening at one time on a regular basis and they're repeating themselves then you have Hawaii ignoring the US Supreme Court striking down the right to carry firearms in public um, and this was again something that was upholded by a district um, decision and then Hawaii says it's not on their state charter so no people don't have the right for for guns in Hawaii to to self-defense at a time when the U.S. and NATO countries are are increasingly overwhelmingly being invaded and it's getting very hard for them to cover up all the various instances of these in many cases, impatient sleeper cells that are very, very ready to go and just waiting for the word. Uh, Because we we are hearing of more and more incidents. Uh, There was an incident in Texas with some known cartel members uh, that Texas state troopers got into a firefight with. Um, You know, it's just crazy. It, It really is crazy. But at the same time, you know, Hawaii will be under Chinese control before you know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're just moving moving on down the line. They're moving slow but steady, and that's the thing. It's, it's, a, it's always like the frog in boiling water. You know, if that frog doesn't get out pretty soon, the frog's not going to be able to get out. And a lot of people are kind of sitting there, and they're waiting for something. They're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for a signal. They're waiting for something. But this is the time where you really need to dig deep and soul search and decide, you know, what kind of future can you can you live with i mean i think there's going to be big changes i see the signs are everywhere i cannot ignore them um so i think a lot of people are kind of in the same boat asking the same question yeah and i and i do think we have to weather the storm again i really feel that 2024 and into 2025 will be probably the most dangerous time and then i'm feeling that it's probably going to de-escalate a little bit uh, at least from the violent side of things, uh, sure, they're still going to keep moving forward as they always do with all their laws and procedures. But it, even when you switch control, even when you fr- in in a country or numerous countries from one group of puppets to the other, they're all puppets. This is the thing. So okay, so what if you know the worst case scenario comes down? And the U.S. and NATO lose, as we've seen the U.S. being divided into five pieces. We haven't gotten any updates to say otherwise um, from the information that that we've gotten through remote viewing, through the guides, etc. It could always change. And this is the thing. Even those uh, at the highest echelons understand that that nothing again is set in stone nothing is set in stone because you have too many consciousnesses uh, putting out their intentions and the more human consciousness awakes to its real potential they're going to have a harder and harder time implementing anything so even if they do change puppets they're all just puppets it doesn't, you know, mean they've won the real war, 
because the battle continues. And, and again, we just basically resist as best we can by not feeding the system, by not acknowledging that it has any, any real authority over us. Because, you know, they really, really don't have any legal authority over us when they're not really, truly elected by us and for us. It, and it doesn't matter what we're talking, Russia, China, U.S., U.K., uh, obviously in, in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, we saw so many things go down against the will of the average person, but were enforced. And still... Some of those people are no longer in power that did that, and some still are. And, and yet, you know, thankfully, you know, most of us are still here. We're still alive. We're still breathing. And we can still change the system. So it, it's not in giving up and giving into the system. And people will look to Tucker for hope. People will look to 45 for hope. They will look to Putin for hope. Or maybe even G. Yeah. <laughs> but the reality is they're all the system. So there's no true hope in the system. It's outside of the system that humanity will find its freedom. And, and that's something that we're trying to get across. And yes, it does, doesn't look like it's an easy path. But yet at the same time, we're not alone. We have each other. Oh, and we have our puppies, and puppies are always so cute to end the video with. Everybody's going to go check on him there. They're not sure if he's okay or not, but they're going to check. And I think uh, when it's time, people will check on each other, and they will try to get to know each other and try to understand each other. And uh, when it's really understood that the system is not out for your good, it's not out to help you, um, that's when people, I think, will start coming together. But there might, well, there could be hardship, you know, some hardship to spur that on. That's the unfortunate part. Absolutely. So, you know, whether they give a, Alaska back to Russia, Hawaii back to China, whether China controls the left coast and, you know, however they divvy it up, maybe they even, you know, put 45 as the president of a smaller version of the United States in order to appease people it's still that's not that's not the revolution in consciousness that we're talking about because you know again this is all part of the system they still want you and need you to buy into the system so they might do it through appeasement or what looks to be appeasement but really it's it's still basically it's the same old thing wrapped up in a fancy new bow and once you understand that, then it's like the anger and fear is released and you can focus on you. Absolutely. As always, guys, look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.